What up, everybody? It's Magic. I was just about to start doing some other stuff, and I saw that our boy Samson has dropped again. So we've got Cesspool, and you know, I'm gonna have to watch it. <laughs> I love Samson. Um, let's see what the boys got here. I'm not gonna do a long intro or anything, we're just gonna get this thing and hit play. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Sometimes wondering if I'm good enough. I ain't looking for a compliment, that's just how it is. I take a step and my book is stuck. It's like everything I do is a masterpiece. I always one up myself every time I drop. So when that's I go true. to write the next one, I'm thinking about the last one and how good it was. And I get right as block. I'm my own worst critic. No one's worse with it. To pick apart every word, shit is so irking. It's so frustrating. Every single verse I compose is so worthless. How am I supposed to finish it? I can say fuck it like a lot of these cats and give you quantity of quality and call it a rap and stand back and watch it fall down flat. Cause y'all they used to me giving my all, not having it. This beat is banging and his flow that flow is on point. I'm, I'm digging this and he's right too. He says, uh, everything he drops is a masterpiece and then ends up getting stuck in writer's block, trying to, you know, uh, outdo himself on the last one. I know that feeling all of you creatives. I'm sure you know that feeling. Let's back him up, make him go again. Quality and call it a rap and stand back and watch it fall down flat. Cause y'all they used to me giving my all not having if I did, I wouldn't be this big. It's the blood and the sweat that got me this gig. I get tons of respect, but it doesn't mean shit if it doesn't connect. So I need to be safe when I'm coming. Fuck me and decent, I'm different. I'm someone you don't want to start beef with the shit with a nothing. Everything is down to a science from the words that I spit to the beat that I pick to the look in my motherfucking eyes. You can stare into him. You see a man who doesn't care or abuse him. I don't give a damn if you share my music as long as I think it's so I don't compare it to it. Another rapper, I'll never beg for a billboard. I got skills that these little bastards are killed for But I still get stuck, shit starts building up Till I'm filled with doubt and I can't seem to filter it out I can't figure it out mm. There's some weight on this one Samson's talking about his own experiences now This side shot is new People wondering why I go ghost right after I post something so live and so dope. Like, why, bro? You lit a fire and let it go. Could have made it go, but instead you let that shit die so. Like, I don't know. Dog, you're preaching to the choir. All this perfectionism is eating my desire. Everything I do, I nitpick to pieces. How the fuck I freeze up with my feet to the fire? And on top of all that, they won't get off my back. Sometimes I wish I never did any political tracks. I'm at every single word I ever spit in those raps. But now it seems like it's all anybody wishes I ask. That ain't the type of shit I did to get where I'm at. If you went through my catalog and you flipped to the back and did the math and listened to my original act, you'll see a cat dedicated to the pen and the these flows. The hand, these flows. I can't get over the flow. Um, and yeah, this is interesting that he's not um, he's not being political this time. This is what we all kind of have gotten used to him as being as the you know the the guy that will rap on political points. Excuse me, and um, and has a mean flow and has a way with words. He's not doing that right now. He's talking about his experience being um, him. You know, like this is Samson talking about Samson, which is pretty interesting. Hated to the pin in the craft, but on the other hand, there's a different attack. People who were there at the beginning of the path, they hate it. They say that I just did it for cash, and it was all a big grift just to give me your bag. I can't win. I feel like I'm ripping in half. I don't know if I mm -hmm. should get mad or forget it and laugh. Yeah, I'll leave my cash app in the description tab, but it's your decision to put a tip in my hat. I never asked. I never held my That's hand true. out. I never tried to use you to grow my wealth. So how the hell are you gonna tell me I did it for money, dog? I don't even promote myself. If I put out a song That's with true. a message in it, then it's genuine. It's just the way I feel. I feel like I shouldn't ask you to pay me for that. I'm trying to make you think, not make a sale. Mm -hmm. And that's facts. He's he's never been out to try to make a dollar. He's probably made a couple of dollars on just YouTube views, but you know. The worst part is they put me in a box with all these other dudes that fucking suck. And if you think I'm talking about you, then I probably am. So fucking what? Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> we share some of the same viewpoints, and our core beliefs are probably similar too. But I take rap way too serious to act like I don't cringe every time I listen to you. Everybody say what you want about me, but you know damn well every song I killed. Even 
if you never agreed with what I said. If you know rap, then you know I brought the skill. It was mm -hmm. always real. I wanted y'all mm -hmm. to feel what I felt at the time when I wrote those lyrics. I tried my hardest and put my heart in it and crossed my fingers and just hope you hear it. Everything they gave you was surface level. Me, I dug up dirt with a shovel, dove in deep, and we all explored. Every single release was like a college course. I dissected every topic that I spoke on, did research. Every time that I wrote songs, I tried to be as thorough as I possibly could, always double checking to make sure I didn't get any quotes wrong. And that's why I don't do it all the time. So it comes effortless from a place of inspiration. I'm not gonna make shit up just to put shit out. If I don't feel it, I'm not gonna say it. I hate this little subgenre of rap and the cesspool that it's grown into. I'd wrap a rope around my fucking neck for I let somebody rope me in with you. I just want to rap now. You're rapping, bruh. You're rapping. You're rap rapping. Man. Wow, Samson. I want to know if Samson is making his own beats or if he's got someone that's making those for him. And listening to him over the years, hope let's let's get the commercials out of here. We don't want none of that. Where did my mouse go? There it is. So, um, I mean, I've been listening to Samson for a long time and it sounds, being a producer, it sounds like the same person is making most of his beats. Man, YouTube, no one asked you to hit play on this. Good grief. Uh, it sounds like the same person is making his music. Um, and I wonder if it's him. I wonder if he's making those bangers or not. Or, or who that is. I want to know who that is. If you know, leave me a comment. Let me know, please. Um, but I'm, I'm liking this 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 sort of fresh vibe from from Samson. He's he did not talk about the usual political or you know um, day in the life of Middle America type of, of um, uh, concepts and ideas. He just talked about his experience being Samson, being the guy that we've all watched and you know seen as as that guy that right you know does those political raps and such. It's it's interesting, you know, to have that flip on its head like that and to make us think about what it must be like to be him. And I guess he's big enough now that he's catching some hate, you know, which is unfortunate, but that's it's also kind of a badge of honor, right? Once you make it to a certain place, once you get to a certain size and have enough visibility, you're going to get the hate. It's just sort of the way it works, unfortunately. Um, but I have empathy for him and the way he must be feeling right now. And honestly, I'm kind of glad he's got that fire in him because it's going to make him angry and push him through to rap some more. Whatever he's got to say, I want to hear it. Because uh, regardless of what he's talking about, the man has got skills. He can rap rap. He's got flow. He has a way with words and lyricism where it's almost like a fast moving story rap in a way because he's just talking you know he's just talking and he always keeps it a buck it's always real no 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 cap no filter with him and uh i i hate that you know apparently he's he's feeling a certain kind of way right now from some of the negativity and i, I hate that I, I hope he can find a way to rise above that and not let it bag him down too much but i really enjoyed that I really enjoyed that track and I'm looking forward to, to whatever we, whatever Samson decides to give us next. I'm used to him dropping and then we wait a few months and then maybe you'll get something else, sometimes longer. Um, I understand that it's difficult to, to churn out things at that level constantly, especially while he probably has a nine to five, he's doing regular you know job to pay his bills. I doubt this YouTube thing is paying all his bills for him. But I, I would love to see more regular drops from him if that was ever possible, you know, because I've I can't really get enough of Samson. <laughs> uh, every time he shows up, I want to I want to see what's going on with it. But anyway, so that's our reaction to uh, to Samson today, cesspool. Um, if you liked it, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about this video. Um, give me a like or a, or a sub if you think I'm doing halfway decent with this whole reaction thing. This is only my second one now. Uh, I may do some more if you have something you think I should react to. Let me know. Uh, but in the meantime. Have a good day. Peace.